Today I want to go over three options on how to transfer your photos and your videos from your camera to either your phone or your laptop. And option number one should be pretty obvious to everyone is the SD card, which is by far the easiest, fastest, and most efficient way to do it. But if you want to experiment with other options, option number two would be to either use the Bluetooth, which is a slower transfer rate, but easier to connect the two devices, or you could do the Wi-Fi connection, which is a bit more cumbersome to connect, but it's a much faster transfer rate. Then option number three would be the USB option, which is tucked in on the side of the camera right here. And unfortunately, for whatever reason, Canon did not send a USB cable with the camera. So you have to pick one up. Um, they're usually pretty cheap, between $10 and $20. No, I've seen them as cheap as $5. But it is not your standard um, like Android uh, cable. It's the kind of the older, a little bit thicker connector at, in, on here. So you're going to want to have to pay attention to that if you want to go that route, um, which does have some benefits. You, gotta, you can get on a... PC, a Windows 10 PC, and kind of go through some of the uh, EOS utilities. You can register your device. You can do firmware updates that way. I will show you that. I've downloaded that onto my Windows 10 laptop, and uh, we'll go over that too. Uh, there might be some benefits for you in there too. So let's go check it out. Okay, so we're back inside here. We got the laptop up, and as you can see here, I've already downloaded it, but I'm going to show you the first thing you want to do, and in downloads. How's that? Okay, let's come in here. Windows 10 upgrade. Official Canon service, Canon drivers. Let's come here. Drivers and downloads. And then right here, you're going to enter your model choices. So we just have the EOS Rebel T7i. All right. And I don't see the 18 by 55, but let's assume it's there. Okay. This will detect drivers download, drivers software you want to go to. And then right here, EOS Digital for Windows Select, and you want to download that. And it'll come in this, it'll download in this little uh, zip file here, zip installer here. You would hit Extract All. Right here, you click that. And that's what you would use to install it, this file right here. The uh, KSDW32, and that's what you would use to install it. Okay? And then once that is installed, this utility will be on your desktop right here, EOS utility. In which case you'll click on, and it'll say connect an EOS camera. It says pairing over Wi-Fi. Now, initially, when you connect your camera, you're going to want to use the USB. This is where the USB comes into play. All right, here we go. So we are connected, ready to go. Turn it on, and there it goes. It automatically pulled it up. And as you can see, this I've already run through the process here. But now you have the options, download images to computer, remote shooting, camera settings. Download images to computer. Start automatic download. New. Return. Then you have remote shooting, which is pretty cool. Now, you can do all this over Wi-Fi also. But here, let me oh, take that off. And now, come up here and go to live mode. Live view shooting. And check this out. This is pretty cool. I know this is... Cool, this is a touch screen. I don't know if it, does it touch screen up. Oh yeah, look at that. This is a touch screen uh, laptop. So I could also use this to focus. That's cool. Even though it's not focusing because I've got this horrible lighting set up. But yeah, so you could do that. Now again, this is through, I'm all USB here. But let's see this Wi-Fi connection here and see how effective it is. <laughs> here we got the EOS utility. Let's pair it over Wi-Fi. Pair over Wi-Fi. So you've already gone through here. Um, if you've opened this EOS utility, it's going to ask you for the serial number, which is on the bottom of the camera. I'm not going to go over that. 
Um, you can find that, and it's going to ask you to register your device and things of that nature. And uh, you're going to want to do that. Sorry, those are my kids going crazy in there. <laughs> uh, now, we're, we're going to want to pair this. So, unfortunately, it doesn't automatically pair, even though it says it does. So you actually have to come up here, tap on that, even though it says connect automatically. You still have to connect. Okay, now it's connecting, and let's take a look here and see what happens. And it's still working. Still working. Still working. Can't connect to this network. Oh, lovely. So, let's see why. Like I said, this is the cumbersome part. Okay, I know it's dark. Let's get a little light in here. And yes, this is fairly cumbersome. So, here, let's hit the Wi-Fi. Airs Beast! Yes, all my things are airs. My name's Aaron, and uh, it's just easier this way. Like I'm wearing a Captain America shirt. What do you want? All right. So, now we're up. Connect device. Now let's try this again. Pair over Wi-Fi. Okay, so let's come up here and would you... I'm just waiting for it to show up. Any day now. Oh, this is so lovely. There it is. Okay, let's turn this back off. Now, as you can see right here, like I said, everything's air. Air's T7i. I know, don't judge me. Let's get into it. And there it reads. What's that read? Pairing connection with the computer in progress. Start EOS utility on the computer. It will do that automatically. We are up and running. So we can shut this EOS pairing software because it already does that, even though it doesn't even give me the option to connect. More cumbersome stuff. But now it gets pretty cool. Once you've gone through all that and you finally get connected, which I've done this 30 times, and every time it is almost as equally frustrating as the last, but once you get up and running, it's pretty cool. So let's take a look here at remote shooting. This is a cool thing here. Now, this will pop up, this little, uh, look here, what is this? Uh, let's head oh, there's your camera. Take a quick pick. And... What is this guy? Oh, there's your, there it is. And then here's the picture I just took. Pretty cool, huh? Pops up like that. Yeah, that's cool and all, but let's go into live shooting mode. This is, oh, you're pulling up this software. And my table's wobbling. Kids are all over me today. All right, let's pull up live view shoot. This is where it gets cool. And look at that. Now, as you can see on the camera here, I'm gonna go around the room. What is that? What is this? Ooh, that's cool. And it's not really that cool, but there's a little lag here. Not horrible, but check out the screen here. You got this uh, look at that leveling system. Over here, it's got this light grid. Tells you uh, different levels. Just a way more advanced interface that is far above my pay grade, but it's really cool, so I thought I'd show you about it and again this is the EOS utility that you got to get in I showed you you go into their website you enter your product you're gonna have to enter your actual model number your your serial number off your device to get this and then it's free and you can access this through the Wi-Fi or with the USB cable so now that all that's out of the way so let's take a picture with the actual camera let's see what we're looking at look at my setup here <laughs> look at this thing uh, Amazon, I got dollar thirty for this thing, this little phone holder. <laughs> Anyways, it does the job, right? So there, let's take a picture. Now, whenever you take a picture, it's gonna pull up your digital photo professional, which also comes with this utility. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I know we've gone way off track from just uploading, but this is cool stuff. So, so check this out. Once you get in here, you can pull this up. And go full. And it just, the information you get 
in this software is amazing. Let's go to tools. Look at this. Start composition. Start HDR. Start. You can get into your RAW. Again, all above my pay grade. I'm just learning. And this I just got the other day. So this the software. But yeah, it's got, what's this? Start dual pixel raw optimizer. I mean, I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty cool. Pretty cool. Transfer to Photoshop. I mean, autofocus point display settings. All these settings. Again, this is the Digital Photo Professional 4. After you take a picture, it'll automatically pull it up. So when you transfer your files onto your computer, you can open this and view them in here and make these adjustments, which if I learn more about it and how to do it, better and efficiently then I will definitely do a review on that because that looks really cool but as of right now I'm just kind of going over some of the uh, things here so here you can go you know rotate <laughs> you can rotate the image you want to take let's go upside down okay now we're upside down rotate uh, I don't know what okay one times oh, that's just digital zoom okay indoors okay so this is the grid AF display Okay, I'm all obviously all rotated out of whack. So anyways, really cool, really cool. Now that you just heard it shut down. Now here, look, your settings right here at your fingertips, auto. What's this? Image saving location, okay. Yeah, look at this, I mean, you just, it's got everything on here you could think of. Manual, auto, oh, this is on the lens, so I could switch it there, I think, maybe? Autofocus, manual, oh, I see. Okay, remote manual. Remote auto, cool. Some pretty cool things here, guys. Um, I think you get something similar on your phone, but I don't think it was nearly this complex and in-depth. So anyways, this is the EOS utility. Um, and again, here's the photo that comes with it, with the utility. And then you got some over here called Picture Style Editor. Um, still learning don't know what that is yet so you can go into your different modes here and it just gives you like complete oh look at this that is cool let's see um well this isn't cool <laughs> but up here shoot this is a 4k monitor and you can't really see so I'm going to take this right in there but check that out Look at that blur. Oh, come on, focus. So look at that. It gives you your shutter speed, your ISO, everything. All this information in this uh, Digital Photo Professional 4, and it's all free just by registering and downloading it. It all comes free, so that's pretty cool. Definitely worth uh, checking out, if, especially if, if you're way more advanced than I am, which I'd hope you were, but if you are, then why are you watching this, right? It's just cool stuff. And I can't get this, T this S7S to focus. All right. So anyways, back to the original purpose of this video, which was to ways to transfer. 